Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Mafia 2. Last episode, we met Mr. Pop Popilardo. Pop Popilardo. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but we met him. Uh, he apparently knew Joe, and he thought it was a little weird that we knew Joe. Um, and he assigned us- somebody has a mean dog- he assigned us a mission. Um, and now we also, what else did we do? Also helped out this other guy that was working with Joe. Um, we helped him steal some stamps and sell those stamps to gas stations last minute, I might add. Um, so that was crazy. And now Joe has another big mission for us planned. He said to bring some lockpicks and a piece, which we, I'm sure, have. Uh, and last episode, uh, <laughs> Well, something might have happened. Uh, I'll repair it for now. And we'll take it for now. Uh, just cause, um... I do want to- I want a new car. I, I think I, I do want a new car, but for now, we'll, we'll stick with it. Uh, but now we are gonna go meet up with Joe for that new mission. Also, of course, you guys, don't forget, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. And if you'd like, you can also become a member and be a part of the Discord server. All right, let's go. Oh, watch out! Oh god, I'm already off to a great start. Oh my god, I'm amazing. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day. Oh yeah. I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? Yeah. What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. They can be what run I'm around last about minute. This, the shit is gonna hit the fan. they lead you me. So, uh, I <laughs> heard you didn't score too big last night. It wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the dock. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! Who is this? some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight in jewels. Plus uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why's everything gotta be so fucking complicated with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, don't <laughs> worry, I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixers something. Fair enough, let's go. All right, we're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. All right, but you know, this is probably gonna go south. Six hours later, here we go. We are in chapter four now, you guys. I think I read somewhere that there's like 16. Oh God, what is this? What is this? We look like prisoners. What is this? Alright, drive to the mall with Joe and rob the jewelry store. Alright, get your ass in here, Joe. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I worked some guys off. It was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. We're whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. All right. Did you not see that light turn red? No, I didn't, sir. I didn't. All right, look. We're here. Ta-da. I guess we're going up here. Go. This is it. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, there we go. And there it is. Voila. What the hell? What was that? 
it. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it. Who are these guys? Ryan fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard. What the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? Yeah, you're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here We're in one here piece, first. you better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. Guys, guys. The West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you, you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my get the ass. fuck out of here. Ugh. And we run. You gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! I'm running, I'm running. Ryan, what about the cops? Come on, let's get out of here. I'm trying. Shit. Go, Shit. go, go, go. And Joe. Go, let's go. I open his door. Oh. Keep those assholes off my back. All right, gotcha. Almost got it. Hold him up, just a little longer. Really? Come on, really. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. We're right. out of here. Right, right, Vito, right. come on. Go then, go. Freeze, police. There's no way out. No, 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 no. Joe, you move too slow, my man. Let's go, let's go. Oh shit. Joe! Come on. The door! Another dead end. I have to. Look. Bitch. Hurry up, Joe, come on. We gotta go this way, it's our only shot. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, Vito, move your ass! Me? What, you fucking crazy? It's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. Please. We have no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Oh. Alright, down. Down. One more. Come on! Alright. Oh god, this is not looking too good. Get your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? <laughs> over there, shoot! Shit! Jesus, be careful. Almost lost it here. Yeah, I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> let's go, let's go. This way, this should take us to the street. Two. Shit, cops. Freeze, police. There's no way out. Fuck. He's down. Pushing him down, man. He keeps stopping. Fuck off, copper. Oh, nice. Look at the Irish, my ears. Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill, crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. 
<laughs> so did yeah, we get I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Oh shit, watch out. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. All right. Be careful, Joe. Swear to God, if you get caught. <laughs> All right, we need a car. All right, it's a lovely car for me here. Car too. Apparently, this one is wanted as well. All right, let's get out. Let's find some different clothes. Hello, miss. Evening, mister. If you like what you see, let me know. All right, let's get a casual suit here. Uh, let's go with this. Stylish and economical. Good choice, sir. Got that purple suit. Hey. Uh, let's get. Oh, we could buy all this Will shit. That be all? <laughs> Too all right, got some new clothes. Uh, I guess I'll take this car. It's the same car, but. Hopefully it won't be like wanted or whatever. Or should I get that car over there? I want this car over here. It's the same one, I think. Whatever. It's fine. Alright. Uh, there we go. Get in, get in, get in. Okay. Whew, that was a little close there. Night shift. Chapter five. The buzzsaw. Joe's apartment, February twentieth, nineteen forty-five. Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you had passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe Shh. next time, doll. <laughs> Bye. All right then. <laughs> Fucking veto. Huh. That was something. All right. Drive to Freddy's to meet Joe for lunch. All right. What? Oh. You stupid broad! But Get the I... hell back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong! The fuck? Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. What the hell's going on over here? You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours! Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? So, uh, what, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. 
about that, bitch. Oh shit, motherfucker. Alright then. How you like that, bitch? Yeah. Alright, bitch. Alright, down. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. Alrighty then. Gonna... Somebody, got Somebody got whacked. Yeah, that's for sure. Fifty bucks. Hell yeah. All right. Let's get a car and go to go meet up with Joe. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, Vito. This is Luca Garino. He like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, Hello. this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And I read up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salud. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh, I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. Of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap. What the huh? fuck? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, I, oh. I, I, now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. Damn, we just got bitch slap, bitch. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then boom! We blast his ass. Shit. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. All right. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. <laughs> and you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. 
I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. I'm out of see you later. Good luck, pal. All right. All right, pick up the hardware from Harry and Kingston. All right, let's go, boys. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that. God damn it, not again. All right, all right, all right. This one's gonna cost you, sir. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Hello? What's his name, Henry? Yeah, who is it? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Alright, come in. Alright. Hello? Hello? Sir? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, Damn. here it is. The big MG42, boy. made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we called her. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt. Three quarters of a mile effective range and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Oh, wait, 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 you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... <laughs> I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. Ow. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, Harry. I'm Harry. Gotcha. Hey, nice meeting you, Harry. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Gotcha. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. He's a nice guy. I like him. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. All right. Uh, don't mind me. Let's not break or drop the crate. <laughs> See you around, Vito. See you around, bud. How do I get out of here? Ah, here we go. Door's open. There we go. There it is. And let's meet up with Henry and Joe. And let's not get pulled over. So uh, I got pulled over, but. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, officer. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straight But uh, the mask and go and check the back of the car. So, uh, yeah. Bye, bud. <laughs> Alright, here we are guys, apartment 233, Misery Lane, two hours later. Alright. Oh, I almost shot my controller. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. Oh, really? What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, will you buy your ticket? Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. I think things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So, he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. All right.
So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. All right. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on. They got All right. guns. Showtime. Let's do it. They got guns up there in that window. Fat bastard. Fat bastard. All right, let's. Tim Vito, waste that fat bastard. Shooting that fucking thing! I'm going deaf over here! Alright, 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 where do I go? Go, 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 go. Excuse me. Excuse me, 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 excuse me. Shit. The fuck? Cover me, guys. All right, where is this dude at? Coward. Oh my god, so crazy. Senses regards. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Fuck you. Sorry, you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit. Henry, you okay? Where'd he hit? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. <laughs> oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over. Son of a Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Take it easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, 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 you're heavier than you look. <laughs> oh, shit, man. All right, uh, I gotta cover him. I fuck. I'm gonna shut my balls off. Take it easy. You missed him by a mile. Oh. No. Hey, careful. Twins. I don't want to die. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't quit your moaning. Hey, you know, I don't need to get this. What the fuck's going on? This whole fucking place is coming apart. Oh, shit. Get behind something, guys. Let's go, you cocksucker. These guys. Come on. cover us. Cover us for Christ's sake. What do you think I'm doing? We gotta lose the cops, don't we? If I don't make it... Hey, hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. Doc will give you a few stitches, then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah. And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. No. Shit. <laughs> Go, 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 Relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I just fucking hit somebody. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. It must be your diet. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Stay with me. <laughs> He's gotta be yeah. awake with the way I'm driving. There, we'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. We're almost there, bud. Hey, Vito, 
I'll step on it. Henry sweating like a whore in church back here. You know what make me drive faster? You start a zit. <laughs> Park right in front. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, isn't this that house we went to in uh, the first game where, uh, what's his name got shot? Same. You are Greco the doctor? No, I'm the fucking painter. Our friend needs help. He's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, handle it. you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait, I got money for you for the job. Take it. You know, this could have waited, but thanks. But hey. Thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah, me too. All right. I'll stay here with him. Meet me at my place. <sighs> All right. Gotcha. All right. You have the cash to repay your father's debt. Visit your sister. Wow. All right. That's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Oh. All right, gave him all that money. Now let's head home, which is technically Joe's this place. We need our own house, man. Chapter six, time well spent, good spirits. Little Italy, February 26, 1945. Follow. Ah, uh, who are these guys? Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. Ah, shit. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for, and I wasn't about to tell them. Shit, we're in jail. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew and about I any of my other crime activities. crime to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta. The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. And it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Wow. Look 
Welcome to hell, little boys. Ah, me, baby. That's right, welcome to my life. <laughs> We're gonna get you. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Federal pen. Thieves, murderers, child molesters, they are all here. Come on. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Oh, damn, we got first person business. The hell? Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! Shit. You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Oh my god, this reminds me of Shawshank Redemption. Oh, they're shaving his head. Welcome to the salon, no. ladies. You're gonna look just my fucking hair. beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, my beautiful hair. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. Listen, freak boy. If you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you Follow in the hole. Me. This was gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Should, right? Should have just gone back to the military. Three days later. After three action packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Well, we are officially in jail, boys. 
This is insane. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And make sure you leave a comment showing your support for the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.